Brandon Reeves will be graduating with a bachelor's degree in agricultural systems management with minors in active business management and military studies and offer equipment. He will be reporting to Keystone Air Force Base in Mississippi to begin an exciting career as a cyberspace officer. For a long time. So when you talk about style, you know, Kinect Griffith came in over the summer, hard charging. I had to pull the reins on that guy, on his leash. Um, he was anything, I'm there, I'm doing it, sir. 110%, he was so energetic, exciting. Um, the, the interesting thing is the, there's a common theme for all of these guys is the family beforehand. Um, Griffith's family. Reese's family, Joe Walters, Biskins, all of them had supportive, loving parents and family members and friends that showed them the right way, the way to live, and uh, had them challenge themselves and got them into our hands. And then when they get here, they have more to learn. They have four years of academics and they have uh, a lot to learn um, in leadership and, and they learn who they are. So as Griffith was so energetic and go, 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 Brandon shows up at them. Cadet Reese, excuse me, shows up in my office, just kind of wanders in there one day over the summer. He was recruited by a Captain Lassiter at the time, and he was supposed to go to Penn Tech, right? For engine mechanics, diesel mechanics? And this guy just grabs him and says, hey, why don't you join the Air Force? You can do mechanics like that as an engineer. So he went from going to Penn Tech and diesel mechanics to mechanical engineering? So, and I don't think he realized what he was getting himself into with ROTC and, and with uh, engineering. Um, one of the things I remember about you, you're always so soft-spoken. That's your style, right? But when you speak, it's, it's profound. But the first time, i got to tell the story. Sergeant Carswell remembers this quite well. And Gene Welling, who's not here, who knew the Reese family for a long time. Brandon walks in my office, and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Good. So, you're going to join ROTC? Yes, sir. Awesome. And he stayed there in my office. I'm like, what am I going to do with this guy? I don't have any. He was ready to work. And he was just there to just right away start absorbing and learning. And what do I do with this guy? So, I chit chat a little bit and I get these short answers, right? He was, he was a little turtle in a shell. And, um, and I'm like, okay, well, why don't you talk to him? Hey, Captain, Captain Kirshner's right over here. He just came back from Afghanistan. I bet he's got a lot of stories for you to tell, and he can talk to him. You know, I, I don't have any work for you right now to do. He was ready to start working. So you go from that first experience meeting you, encountering you, and you were very shy and very quiet, but eager to perform, to becoming you were the vice commander then? You were, the, you were in the ops group commander, vice commander in the detachment? Vice, vice wing commander of the detachment. He came out of his shell, he led, and, and now look at you. And you did it with style. And up up all the way through this week when you drove your tractor into school. <laughs> and you changed your major to something that, that fits you more, fits your style, your personality, and you're gonna go on, uh, not really, go, you know, you're not really gonna do any ag stuff, you're gonna work with nukes. Cyberspace. Cyberspace, even better. So you're gonna do, deal with space, he's land and now space, and uh, you're going to go on for at least four years, hopefully more, and you're going to have a flourishing career. And you're going to take that style that you have and, and do so well, I know it, okay? So without any further ado, everyone, please rise again. Please come to the attention raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Brandon Serge Reese. Having deployed Excuse me, having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend the United States and the Constitution of the United States. To support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I take this, and I take this without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And I take this without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. I will well and faithfully discharge. And I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I'm about, which upon I am about to enter. On which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God.
Lieutenant Reese. I would like to call my parents, Jeff and Trudy Reese, up. <clears throat> and also my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Since my parents are here, I'll do depending on one of the parent things. Saturday night, whatever night happened to me, come back home, go back to class, and everything. 
like to thank my parents, my grandparents that are here, my grandparents on the east side, they aren't here, my grandmother has doctors going to so they aren't going to be here today. But they've always been there for me. I love my family, they support me in everything I do. Jeff Snyder, he's kind of my adopted dad. My best friend in high school, um, they kind of pick me up and do one of them things where I go over to their house at 10 o'clock at night or something like that and just show up and be like, oh, hey, Reese, you know, you want anything to drink? You know where the soda's at, the couch is there if you want to sleep, take a nap, do whatever you want. So it's, it's definitely been an experience. And for you, those that didn't exactly hear about it, what Major Heckman was talking about, I've always wanted to drive my tractor in class. That's something I've always wanted to do when I was in college. And this past week was the last week of class. I thought, well, I only got this past week to do it. Well, I got Monday, Tuesday I can't because I got PT and I got to work in the morning and I'd be home late at night, so I really don't want to do that. Wednesday is supposed to be cooler, so I really don't want to drive my tractor when it's 20 below. Thursday I have more stuff, and Friday I'm going up to my girlfriend's house, so I guess I got to do it tomorrow, Monday. So I went Sunday night over to my friend's house, picked up my trailer. That night we were the tractor on the trailer, and then that morning I took my tractor, trailer, and truck over here to campus, unloaded my tractor, and drove my track in the parking lot. And just to make sure I didn't get a ticket, I stuck my parking pass in the grill of my tractor. <laughs> I have pictures of it. And I uh, took pictures of everything sitting in the parking lot there. And uh, a friend of mine I have class with, he was sitting in his truck when I pulled in the parking lot. They go rolling up to the parking lot. He was on his phone or something like that. He does the look at your phone. He kind of looks and looks down and does one of them things. And I go rolling up to the parking lot. And then uh, I was done with class for the day. My friend's like, God, you didn't really drive your tractor. I'm like, yeah, look at my phone here. I drove my tractor. He's like, you want to go for a ride? I said, yeah, sure. He's like, you won't do it. I said, yeah, we got nothing else better to do. Let's go do it. So brought my tractor in, drove it down Park Avenue. All people pulling out their phones and stuff like that. So I was going down Park Avenue. We pulled in the Ag Engineering Building. A friend of mine hops on the back. And we go driving around campus. And I'm like, where do you want to go now? He's like, oh, let's go down over the hill. So we ended up going down College Avenue on my tractor in the middle of traffic at 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> And uh, I go to class the next day on Tuesday. The friend's like, uh, did you drive your tractor to class yesterday? I said, yeah, why? They said, well, you made it on a campus Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm famous, I didn't even know it. But, um, and then actually yesterday, all the graduates of my major, Agricultural Systems Management, we took the tractor from Ag Engineering we have on loan and took it out by the Penn State sign out here by the stadium. And made it to campus Snapchat there again. People were taking pictures and honking horns as they were driving by. So it's uh, it's been a, definitely an interesting experience in my college career. Started out in mechanical engineering, as Major Heckman said. Made it a semester, and after my first 2.6 GPA semester, I said, oh, I'd better find something else. And just happened to wander into the agriculture yeah. engineering building. And a guy, he actually retired, he's not there anymore. We got to talk, and he's like, well, we got this. Major, you know, you take stuff on combustion engines and power transmissions, I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> so that's how I started in agriculture systems management, what I graduated with after four and a half years. And definitely the people I've met there, the professors I've had, the fellow students I've had, it's been, it's been a good experience. So I want to thank everybody who's ever had any impact in my life and is here for me, Major Hector, for the oath, and everybody's been there for me. I appreciate it. Thank you.